Now listen, I have been a conservative my entire life. Yep. I have never met anybody, any conservative who wants to ban contraceptives. As I noted, Heidi and I, we have two little girls. I'm very glad we don't have 17. <laughs> Seven years later. As the fight over abortion <clears throat> rights heats up, the governor of Mississippi won't rule out a ban on contraception. Here we go. Here, Here we, we go. go. Let's be clear. Conservatives still haven't banned contraception yet, but they haven't done anything to help or support or to back protecting medication and devices designed to prevent pregnancy either. Conservative senators will have a chance now, and there's really no middle ground. The opening clip was of Ted Cruz saying that conservatives aren't the condom police during an Iowa town hall back in 2015, after being asked where he stood on making contraception available to women who want it. Now at face value, I thought it was great to put the onus on men to take care of contraception and using protection, but Rafael Cruz didn't answer the question about what women who want to control their body should do to decide when and how they get pregnant. He ignored it. And it's a great example of what happened with Republicans. When the war on women came up, Republicans would curl up in a ball. And they'd say, don't hurt me. <laughs> Jiminy Cricket, this is a made up nonsense example. Last I checked, we don't have a rubber shortage in America. <laughs> Add that to the fact that once upon a time, he seemingly agreed with AOC, but nothing came of it either way, to perhaps work together to ban members of Congress from becoming lobbyists saying, we can team up here as well. A simple, clean bill making birth control available over the counter. Interested? When she tweeted, psst, birth control should be over the counter, pass it on. Ted Cruz is a man who, during Amy Coney Barrett's Supreme Court confirmation hearings, referred to birth control pills as abortion-inducing drugs, as if birth control was a threat to religious freedom. This has something to do with the Supreme Court case of the Little Sisters of the Poor Saints Peter and Paul home versus Pennsylvania. The Little Sisters of the Poor, Catholic nuns, had asked for an exemption from the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act that requires health plans to cover all FDA-approved contraceptive methods. And there's more where that came from when it comes to Ted Cruz and contraception. So when Supreme Court Justice Thomas calls into question the legitimacy of Griswold v. Connecticut, which protected the right of unmarried couples to access contraception, and Senator Cruz agrees with the underlying premise of states' rights in that regard, plus only eight Republicans backed a bill that will codify protections for contraception access in the U.S. into federal law. And hashtag boycott Walgreens trended recently on Twitter after users shared stories of being denied birth control and condoms by pharmacists with a moral objection to their use. It's good to look back at what politicians have said on the record about contraception, especially when they may want to make another run to become president in the future. Because as Abigail Martin, one content creator who shared their story about being denied access to her prescriptions, whether or not the use of contraception is for the sake of sexual activity, by the way, said, first they want us to stop getting pregnant and having abortions, and then they don't want to help us prevent that pregnancy. With that said... Look, when I was in college, we had a machine in the bathroom, you put 50 cents in and voila! So yes, anyone who wants contraceptives can access them, but it's an utterly made up nonsense issue. No, we still don't have a rubber shortage, but conservatives might just be the birth control pill police. Voila. For Rebel HQ, I'm Jeff Wiggins. My architect knows Japanese.